if social media platforms, which include um, X, Facebook, TikTok, um, Instagram, and the rest, could have a vetting system whereby those who want to propagate their ideology, teachers, pastors, motivational speakers, all of them, but you put together, both spiritualists and the rest of them, they have to vet them before they are approved to have such in their social in in their various platform it will be beautiful if not go and create your own social media and propagate your message because now we have a lot of nonsense on the internet now if i have to recommend criteria for you to be approved to propagate your ideology to teach as a motivational speaker to do any form of teaching on the internet whereby you are selling an idea into the hearts of many including children growing up this will be the criteria criteria number one you must be minimum a master's degree holder master's degree holder and you know before you get master's degree you must have done bachelor's degree and on all your bachelor's degree you must have gotten three different bachelor's degree inclusive must be organizational behavior and human psychology the other one may be major of what you want to master now organizational behavior human psychology the reason is this everybody come on the internet to spew rubbish whether those who call themselves the african spiritualists trying to bring christianity down and the rest of i have never come online to bring christianity down rather what i do is to give you the actual fact about issues in christianity in the water religion we systematically painstakingly choose aspects of the bible that were grossly copied from the ancient Kemetic script from the sumeria script from scripts that were found in the dead sea because everything you read in the bible had already been documented you can find them in the great words the Kemetic words in the great tablets in the uh, the dead scrolls they are there so those were information that we have scripted, written, documented by my ancestors. So for a white man to pick them, remodify them, change the story, I own the original copyright. So I can read the Bible, pick up what is. The only part of the Bible I cannot read is the New Testament. As far as the Old Testament is concerned, the story of the Exodus was my black ancestors that were being enslaved in the Mesopotamia that Timothy rescued through the river of reeds, not the Red Sea. No Red Sea divided anywhere. There's never, it's, it's impossible. As in, the stupidity they teach you in church is that we have a God that can do, uh, the, the, he say he made the impossibility possible. Shut up. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You cannot, see, the only realm where impossibility become possible is the spiritual realm that's the only thing so if you want to make things that are impossible to be possible in the physical realm a force from the spiritual realm has to what effect it more of like a catalyst slow down or fasting the rate of reaction when we have people who are master's degree who have studied psychology human psychology who have studied organizational behavior who will be able to carry out our ideologies our story that, fully verified you cannot become a master's degree holder except you've done excessive research massive excessive research and because when your teaching is not by is not based on ethnic or tribal supremacy your message is invalid whereby if your message is to promote only the Igbo culture only the Edo culture only the Ashanti culture only the Uruban Isoko culture you are faulted. You are in. You should be stoned to death. I do not promote the Benin culture. I do not promote the Igbo culture. I don't do what is called tribal supremacy. I promote the ancient African spirituality alongside where we come from. So when I go online and see some people make some lot of videos and saying rubbish, I feel like education was not given to us by the white. We already had it firsthand. We had it. The first university was built in the soil of Africa, the University of Cairo. Jesus, the Joshua of the Bible, you see, came to Africa to study under the temple of thought. Shiva came from India to study in Africa. A lot of, including Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam of Islam, came to Africa to study. Or West, where did he get Bilal? That call Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, Ashadu Allah, Ashadu Allah, Muhammad Rasulullah, the call to prayer in Islam. 
Who was the first person that called it? It was Bilal, a slave that was captured from Ethiopia. Or day, or day, or day. You don't have sense. I better cut this camera. I don't have time for this video.